inside Willie's Sports Cafe at Hidden Valley Lake. It has been extremely challenging at times, but extremely uplifting at times. Owner Steve Van Wassenhoff is excited about reopening. We want to make sure that everybody that comes in here feels as safe as possible and that we're doing everything under the guidelines that we can to reopen. Tables and chairs set up a bit further apart. We've kind of set up a floor plan that that allows social distancing and, and, and allows our customers to be as safe as possible. The announcement to reopen at 50% capacity came as a shock. We were obviously assuming right away that we would be closer to June. Our plans have always been to reopen as soon as we can to get our folks back in here. But it's a bit more tricky when you come to the state line. Here we are behind me, Indiana, where I'm standing right now, Ohio. And depending on which side of the street you're on, well, it depends on when you'll ultimately reopen. Anna Gabbard is wearing an Indiana hat and an Ohio hoodie. The state line? Probably 30 feet. I mean, you know, you walk out the doors and you're right there. She manages Harrison's The Coffee Peddler. The store is in Ohio. To see the community and how they come together, and they, they always do. Like, it's, it's, it's never a shock to us when, like, people just always rise up. Like, how can we help? Gabbard says she's happy to see Indiana's restaurants coming back. Probably means that it's coming for us, so that's you know, a positive thing. And so we're looking forward to when, you know, we get to have people sitting here again and love on people. She's hopeful the tide will soon turn toward reopening fully. I'm okay with him saying, let's, you know, let's put pause on it for another four weeks. And Harrison, Jake Ryle, WCPO, 9 News.